Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to do your everyday makeup. So first, I'm going to use these tools to help me find out what kind of face shape and skin type you are. So I have this special ruler. Let's use it to check your eyes shape. So just put it right here. Okay. And let me check. Okay. This side. So I think So for this eye shape, we can choose some uh, eyeshadow color like this one. This one, it has very natural and a sparkling color. We can use this color. of like a champagne color and this color kind of like chocolate color so I think some colors like this will look good on you do you like it? I think it's so bling bling. And also, I'm going to help you find out what kind of uh, skin type you are. So just use this. Very clean tissue. So I'm going to press it on your cheeks first. Okay. And this side, just gently press. And your tissue. So your forehead and your nose. Okay. So let me check. Hmm. So I can see your tissue look a little bit oily, but your your cheeks look a little bit dry. Yeah. So I think we can use some uh, facial essence before I do your makeup. Okay. I think today we can use this facial essence. So this one is from Korea. It weighs great heat. It's a very good stuff to hydrate your skin. down your cheeks couple dots okay and this side it 
Instead of a uh, rub, tap, I think it's better. It won't hurt your skin. And before I do your makeup, I just want to find out um, what kind of face shape you have, so we know where we should uh, contour, where we should uh, highlight. Okay. So far. I'm going to measure your ear. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Around it. Okay. And your forehead to your chin. Your chin is right here. So, your beautiful eyes and this side. Okay, and last part is your nose. I think I have a very beautiful nose. So now we can do your makeup. First step, I will use this concealer. As you can see, it has six different colors. Don't worry, I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach you how to use them. So, for your skin, for the color, we can use this green. Just use brush. Got some of the concealer. So, I will apply it on your cheeks. Just use the green color to cover the redness. Okay. And some on this side. So this concealer, the texture is a little bit dry. You have to blend it immediately. Just use a sponge. Tap, tap, to blend it. On this side, just tap, 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 tap. Okay, look good. And use a towel to clean your brush. Then we can get this purple color, or you can call it a lavender color. So 
So this color, we can use it on your forehead and your nose to highlight this part. Just make sure it uh, evenly on your skin. Okay. Now let me check. Yeah, look great. And now we can use some foundation. Here is my favorite one. It's from Dia. I like this one because it has SPF 35, which means if you are too lazy to use uh, sunscreen, you can just uh, use this one. And to apply this foundation, I'm going to use this very special tool. It looks like this. As you can see, it's very, very soft and very squishy, like a chair. So this uh, special tool, just cut some foundation. Okay. And I'm going to apply the foundation from the central part and to the side. So start with your nose, and to the cheeks. It's very soft. Just gently tap to blend in the foundation. So you can use uh, different tools to apply foundation, like a brush, sponge, or this one. This one, I like to use it in the winter. It can give your skin uh, more coverage and then leave your skin very glowy. Okay, just a little bit on your jawline and your neck. Don't forget this part. Also, this tool is really easy to clean. See? All gone. So after that, we can use some powder to sit in your skin base. I have this brush. This one is very good for powder. So, I like to roll it on the powder and get out the extra powder on my hand. Then use it on your nose. Just roll it. Okay. And your forehead. And your 
at those corners. It's really easy to get on your on this corner. Okay. So now your skin look very nice. Then we can talk about what kind of color we should use today. Uh, for me, every time before I do my makeup, I like to choose a lipstick first. Then I will do my makeup to match with this color. So here I have some different textured lipstick. I have this one. So this one is from Korea. Lately, people like it so much. It's a matte texture. It's very soft and creamy, so some people call it a lip mat. And also, I have this one. You can see the beautiful color on the bottom. So this is a uh, lip gloss. This one, it has very, very tiny glitters inside. So I like to use it in the summer. And also, I have this texture. I think this one is more like um, lip jelly. It's a little bit uh, sticky. You can hear that? So this one, it doesn't have any strong color. So you can put it on any lipstick you want. Just add it on the top to make your lips look more juicy. So today, I think we can use the this one with a lot of uh, shiny, shiny glitters. Okay. So this one we can match with. This beautiful eyeshadow today. Now you can just uh, relax your lips. Okay, just relax. Okay. And I'm going to apply it on your lower, lower lip. It can make your lip look more plump. summer 
in the middle part okay okay now just the move I'm going to up you clean the edge make sure it look perfect but at least somebody like to make it a um, little bit messy on purpose <laughs> people think it looks very natural but I like to clean the edge okay okay now we can use this beautiful eyeshadow actually I got just got this one it's a very famous eyeshadow called the Pallow Talk do you know this one? I really like the colors it just uh, makes your eyes look so bling bling and uh, so uh, so beautiful and shiny so first I will use this color kind of like champagne so this color we can put it close your eyes okay we can put it on all of your eyelid to be the base color it's a very very light color you don't need to worry about if you use it too much and this side wow like a diamond this color little bit deep color so you use it to enhance this part the end of your eyes I like to make a little circle And slowly blend it to the central part. Just slowly and carefully. Okay. Then clear brush. It's very important, otherwise, yeah, the color will look very dirty. And now I'm going to use chocolate color just uh, brush it very nearly to your eyelash okay just relax your eyes or you can look down very nice And the next color, I will use this one, but with my fingers. Because fingers can leave the color more strong and make sure it uh, uh, don't have any glitters drop on your eyes. So use the finger and tap tap in the middle part. so pretty this color see it's kind of like pink tone mixed with golden glitters so special okay now I'm gonna use a brush 
to plant them together. This is a very important step. And you can make sure your eyeshadow looks very natural on your eyes. And then let's move to your eyeliner. When you get very natural eyeshadow colors, uh, I think the best uh, color for eyeliner is brown, not black. So here I have this waterproof eyeliner. And it's in, in a very beautiful brown color. So I can just hold your eyelid and you just uh, look down for me. Good. And just uh, follow your eyelash, the roots, very close to the roots. Okay, and this side. Don't worry, if this is your first time to do makeup, of course you have to practice. But I believe you will get it, don't worry. And at the end, we can do a little bit up. Okay, let's clean this part. Look perfect. So just use a Q-tip to clean it before it gets dry. And now we can do your eyelash. So first, let me curl your eyelash. Now we can use some uh, mascara. So here I have this mascara. It has two different sizes. So one is uh, one side. It looks a little bit big. So the the side is for your upper eyelash. And. Uh, the other side, it looks very small. So this one is for your lower eyelash. So I'm going to use this big one. You can look down and I will brush up. You can do it's called a Z shape like this to brush your eyelashes. And this side make a Z shape. Z Z to brush. And don't move. Give it a couple seconds and let it get dry. Okay. 
and then the small brush is for your lower eyelashes so you can look up I'm, a, I'm going to brush it just very carefully I think this part is really hard but it's very worth it because I think eyelash is a very important part for eyes can make your eyes look more big I think you have very long eyelash. Just uh, now you look like a Barbie. And uh, next step, I like to do eyebrows. Before that, we have to just to check your eyebrows and uh, trim your eyebrows. Like So I'm gonna use this tweezer. I think we can clean some of the hairs right here. Just a black, black, black. Okay, black, black, black. I like to do it after I take a shower. You know, after you take a shower, your skin pores might open a little bit. That will may make your make it easier to pluck it away. And uh, right here, there's too much here. You can clean it. So how do you feel? Is it okay for you? <laughs> Good. Okay. Now let me check. Mm, I like it. I like this shape. So for your eyebrows, I'm going to use this product. This one also has two different sides. So one side, it looks like a mascara, but it's for eyebrows. And the other side looks like a pencil. So I'm going to use the pencil first. Just uh, do the base shape of your eyebrows. We can follow the growth direction and make your eyebrows a little bit longer. So it can match with your face shape. Okay. On this side. It's a dark brown color. I think it's very match with your hair color. So if you dye your hair. Make sure you use the same color as your hair. But I think normally um, brown color, it can match with uh, most of uh, hair's color. It's a very safe color. I can 
clean the edges. Okay. And here, adding some uh, And now we can use this side. So this side, just using uh, it on the front of your eyebrows. So for this part, you can brush up. Just uh, make it the hair stand up. So this is uh, called a Thai style. Make your eyebrows look more volume and wild. Just to stand up. Don't use too much cream. Okay. And stand. Make sure you don't use too much. Okay. Yeah, look good. And after you did your eyebrows, don't use your hands to touch your face anymore. I remember when I first time I did my makeup, I just forget I have it. So I just, uh, you know, rub my eyebrows, my eyes, and I found, oh my god, <laughs> that I just look like a, a panda because I have very uh, dusty and black eyes. So try to remember, do not touch here and here, okay? And now we can use some. Uh, contour so by checking your face shape I think we can do it's called the three shape contour style it's very simple you can just draw a three on each side of your face so from here to here and to here I'm going to use this medium color. I think it matches with your skin tone. So, start at your hairline and slowly down to your cheeks. to your jawline and for your jawline this part we can enhance just add more contour and blend it away And this, tie, uh, this side, still from the hairline to cheeks and to jaw, jawline. Just use a little bit more. So, different countries, people like different face shape. Like in Asia, people really like the very, very thin 
very slim fish ship. But in America, people like to you have a little bit of jawline the angle. So how to contour is just depending on what kind of face shape you like. Okay. And uh, I will get a little bit of this light color to contour your nose, the bridge. So start with the corner of your eyes and to the nose bridge. Don't use too much. Just a little bit. And use your finger to create a little bit. And the next step, I think we have to use some uh, blush. I have this color. This one is from uh, Japan. It's a very famous color. People call it uh, raspberry color. So the number is called the PW38. And this one, it comes with a tiny, tiny brush. Just got some color. Then I need to smile. Good. Then I can find the right spot. So right here. And here. So now, um, for cheeks, you can make a little circle that will make you look more lovely or you can brush it up it can soften your face shape I think this style is look better so just brush up Blend it. Okay. I like to use this color in the winter and a more light color in the summer. Just uh, take a look, double check, make sure everything looks great. It's a very natural style. You can wear it to party, to school, to work. So it's got a uh, heavy day makeup. Now, just a little bit of powder on your face, especially tissue. Okay. So, all done. Uh, do you know how to do your everyday makeup now? Good. So, if you need any help, you can just come back. I'll be here for you. So, hope you like your makeover. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day. I see you next time. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Thank you to my lovely patrons.
Pichuco.